Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to my channel, A Classy Situation, where we discuss faith, fashion, and self-care. Today, I am going to be sharing another video about workwear. This is a spring workwear video. As I've stated in the previous video, I will be going back to the office soon, and I'm just trying to really wrap my mind around outfits to wear um and i'm really just trying to wrap my mind around the idea of working in an office after being in the house for two years so in order to get this motivation going in order to feel inspired i put some outfits together as you know i love to style outfits i try to shop my closet as much as possible without going shopping first because what i've learned is there are so many ways you can shop your closet and create different ideas for outfits and just use your creativity and for those of you who don't know how to do that or who don't do that hopefully once you watch this videos and other videos um you'll get some ideas so for those of you who are new go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and join the classy family if you are not new if you are a returning subscriber Thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate you. I see we're growing. I think I have 35, 36 subscribers. So I am grateful for those of you who subscribe, for those of you who comment and engage with me. Um, and then some of you who see me in person and, you know, you talk to me about different things that you've gained from the video. So I'm definitely grateful for that. So we're going to go ahead <clears throat> Some of these pieces you may have seen before in like a fashion haul, but in this video, you're going to see how I would style these different outfits. Um, so if I was, if I were to go into the office, this is actually how I would wear these outfits. So we're going to start with the first outfit. It is a skirt from... And excuse me if I'm looking down. I want to make sure I'm giving you the correct information as far as brand is concerned. But this is a chambray colored skirt from Banana Republic. I'm just going to fold it. It's this color. And of course, I'm going to put a pop-up on the side so that you'll see it. Uh, but it's this chambray colored skirt. It has a little split in the back. And it's kind of fitted, but really what is what is fitted on me and i paired it with a chambray striped shirt just to really give it that business casual look as i as i've stated to you previously where i work they don't necessarily um you don't necessarily have to dress business casual i just like dressing business casual i'm honestly not much of a jean girl I mean, I do it when I have to, but I don't know. My style is a little different, even though it has evolved over the years. I just, wearing jeans, I'm, I'm old-fashioned. I just, some things like jeans to church, jeans to work, unless I'm working like in a warehouse or retail, perhaps. Anyway, going off into a rant. So I paired that skirt with this striped chambray shirt. Now this is from Land's Inn. You can purchase these anywhere. I literally see these shirts everywhere. So it has that same color in it as the skirt. Um, and I've seen shirts like this if you want to, where it's not striped, but the whole shirt is that chambray color. If you want to go for like a monochrome look. But I paired the skirt with this shirt. I put on some pantyhose because I'm that girl. And I put on some neutral color pumps. Now for that chambray, for that chambray shirt, you can find that. In, I've seen them in Marshalls. I've seen them in Macy's. I have a shirt I've gotten out of the men's department. And just in case you don't see it in the ladies or the women's. You can find them online. They are literally everywhere. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you already know that the items that I'm showing you in this video, I will have a link to them below. So just in case you cannot find them in your local stores, there will be links below 
to the items that I'm showing in this video. And if by chance I'm not able to find the exact item, I'm definitely going to link an alternative. I'll link the alternative below. And we already know that we like quality clothing, but we like affordable prices. So I'm not trying to get you to, you know, break the bank. Uh, but you can look nice and you can wear quality clothing without, without breaking the bank. So just keep that in mind. With that outfit, I have this Antonio Milani slash pump. And it's considered a slash pump because of this here. Sorry, I just got a text message. So yeah, and this is probably the lowest heel I have. This is perfect for work because it's not that tall. It's very comfortable. Um, normally you can find the Antonio Milani brand at Dillard's. Um, and this shoe, when I tell you this shoe is so comfortable, it's the perfect work shoe. Now, of course, even though I like heels, I always carry flats with me. And that leads me to my next item the work bag so this is the bag that i would carry and the reason why i would carry a bag like this is sometimes as women we have stuff like a work bag a purse a lunch box <laughs> and we're carrying like all this different stuff so sometimes i like to carry a tote just to kind of sit all of that in and so i have this vince camuto tote I have this Vince Camuto toe. It's very spacious. Um, I've had it for a while now. And it also has an inside pocket. Very spacious. Very spacious. So I would carry that as a work bag. So if I have my planner, because I typically take my planner wherever I go, of course I will take a lunch to work. Um, in my purse, I don't go anywhere without a purse. So all of that could just fit in there. And of course, if I'm wearing heels, my flats would also go in that bag. And other things like, depending on where you work, you may have a badge. I know where I work is, is secured. So a lot of things I have to use my badge to get into. So just keeping that, well, we have to wear ours. We can't just have it laying anywhere, but you know, that's another item that could, you know, go in your bag for those of us who carry a lot of stuff. Cause I'm an in case person. So I need lotion. I need a little personal bag, cosmetic bag, just in case, you know, a lo I, I just need it. I need, I need my just in case stuff. <laughs> So I carry a bag like that. And again, I will try to pop up on the side what this outfit looks like so you can get a, a, a visual of what I'm going for when I go to work. Okay, this next outfit you've seen. And I don't know if I said this, the bag I purchased from... The Vince Camuto toe, I, honestly, I don't remember where I purchased it, but I know where you can find them. You can find them at Dillard's, DSW, and the Vince Camuto store online because I've seen them everywhere. Now, because I purchased this about a year or two ago, I don't know if that specific design is still there, but they still have that style. They still have that style available. Now, this is a Banana Republic button-down shirt. I love the piping on this shirt. So as you can see, it has like a red, red, orange piping here, light blue on the shoulders, and then on the back is yellow. And there is so much you can do with this shirt. Of course, I would wear the colors on the shirt. If I were to wear bottoms, you see this, I would wear that color. If I had a pair of light blue pants, I would wear that. And then yellow, I would wear that. I paired this shirt. Now, this is a long sleeve shirt. Um, and the shirt that I showed you before this is quarter length because, honey, we never know how the office is going to be, child. You, you just never know. It could be cold. I mean, we're talking about spring wear, but in Memphis, child, I, I don't even know when spring plan I'm getting here. It's been so cold. So, <clears throat> it's a long sleeve button down shirt. You can't go wrong for that. You're wrong with that, especially if you're working in an office. And then I paired it with these pants. I am so in love with these pants. First of all, it's the rich color for me. 
it's the rich color for me. I love the quality of these pants. Even though it's kind of heavy, like it has a little weight to it, it's breathable material. It's breathable material. There, there is no lining and it really doesn't need it because it's, it's a thick material. You can't see through it. It looks like something. Oh, it's just a wrinkle. Uh, it looks, um, it has a uh, seam going down the leg. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a permanent crease there. Very comfortable, very flowy. If you watched the previous video, when I first purchased these pants, I ordered them in an in a extra small. These pants are oversized. I ordered them in an extra small because normally when something is elastic in the waist, I size down because after a while that elastic gives and I'm already kind of, well at this point I'm medium frame. I can let this small frame thing go. But yeah, <laughs> eventually it gives and it gets big. So I just normally, it gets bigger. And so normally I get an extra small. However, I purchased the extra small in these pants. And here's the issue when you're small and long. A lot of times when you order small, the length is not there. So even though I purchased the, the extra small and it fit nice in the waist and in the leg, like you see how wide leg these pants are. I don't like when pants hit me right at the ankle or they brush my feet. I, if I have on some wide leg pants, I want them on the floor. And that's with no shoes on. So that when I put on heels, they can cover part of my heel, if that makes sense. I love wide leg pants. I love, and this brand is... And I'm going to do a video on brands um, for long leg girls like myself. I'm 5'7". Keep that in mind when I'm showing you these sizes. I'm not going to tell you my weight, honey, because I refuse to believe my weight. Um, but I'm 5'7". I'm normally a 4'6". Uh, a at the top, I am busty, so I'm like a 34D, 34DD. And then at the bottom, I'm a 4 or a small um, but I love, but keep in mind, I'm 5'7 and I'm mostly legs. So just, just keeping that in mind. So I ended up to say all that, I said all that to say, I exchanged the extra small. So I ended up returning it back to H&M. That's where I purchased these pants. And these pants are still available. So I will link them below. I haven't seen them in the store. Um, so... I'm just going to link them below so you guys can purchase them or you ladies can purchase them. But I exchanged the extra small for a small. Now, the small is huge. If it fits fine, if it's fine. But when I went up a size, it also went in the, the spacing in the thigh and leg area also went up. For me, it's fine. I love, like I said, I love wide leg pants. That's just me. Uh, but just keep that in mind when you purchase these pants do run run big they run big yeah but i'm in love with these pants i mean they feel so good the quality is unmatched and this is h m a size small now with these pants with this pair of pants i wore and you'll see me kind of rotate between the same two pair of shoes because, yeah, I have been on the hunt for some neutral colored pumps. And the Antonio Maloney pumps I've had for years. But these, you see these babies? I just purchased these. Um, these are French Connection. And this is what I wore with the red pants and the button-down Banana Republic shirt. So, I know you like gold shoes, but, and they're very comfortable. And I purchased these French Connection shoes from Macy's Backstage. Not sure if you guys are familiar with that. If you are not, it's almost like, so Macy's had, so there's Macy's, and then there's Macy's Backstage, and then there's Macy's, how can I explain it? Macy's Backstage is kind of like 
the outlet of Macy's. But it's normally in the Macy's store. And you can just ask them where Macy's backstage. I normally don't go to Macy's backstage. But every now and then, I can find... Um, if I'm looking for something specific, like a basic item, like a t-shirt or some sandals, like if I'm going to the beach or something, or I need some sandals to kind of lounge around in a hotel room with, those are the type of items you can normally find in Macy's Backstage, but I happen to run across these. They are very comfortable. Um, I actually looked these shoes up online and they're sold at several different stores so i'm surprised that because normally when you go to macy's backstage you don't see those items online but i was able to find the, the this pair of shoe on um online at several different other stores so i'll be sure to link this below now even though i wear this colored shoe i'm not a girl where my shoes have to match my bag belt hat all of that so i paired and you've seen this before. I've paired it with this. This outfit, I just love a good top handle bag. I love a top handle um, or a satchel or shoulder bag. But I think this outfit will go perfectly together. And you'll see the accessories and things. I'm, I'm not big on a lot of jewelry. I'm simple when it comes to jewelry because I don't buy a lot of costume jewelry and stuff like that. So you'll see me with a watch earrings sometimes you'll see me with a necklace um and maybe a bracelet but yes i'll pair the outfit with this coach bag which will also be linked below if you go a few videos back you'll you will see the review on this bag i'm so in love with this bag i just think it's such an eye catcher the style of it is different than any other bag that i have and i also have the option of wearing it as a crossbody so this will be a day where i probably wouldn't wear a tote because <laughs> i have enough going on so yeah i would just pair it with this and let's move on to our next item which you guys have seen before this is the bcbg maxazria pair of pants it's kind of floral so it's kind of giving you that red as well with white flowers that are trimmed in blue. I know you can't see the blue as well, blue that well, um, but it is trimmed in blue. The, these are wide leg pants. They have splits in the leg. And because the pants are saying enough, of course, I'm pairing it with a simple shirt. And that is this blue top just to bring out the blue in those flowers it's a v-neck and it's by i believe it's pronounced chouse but i purchased this from marshall's one of my favorite stores uh, and marshall's got a lot of tops that look like this in different colors i was at marshall's the other day they had it in lime green i mean they have the, i mean if you go to their section they have a section that's called business i believe if you look at the price tag it'll have business written on it um for you know those of us who work in an office or whatever so yeah i would pair this top with the flounce sleeve with those pants and i will put these shoes back on i would wear these with that as well or i don't have a, a yeah i think i would do these i would do these yeah and i wear a size nine just in case you were wondering and these sh the the shoes that i'm showing you they are for the most part yeah true to size so the antonio maloney pump as well as the french connection pump they are size nine and with this look as well i will go ahead and wear my red purse again the coach purse that i previously showed you or would I do something different? Hmm. I'm gonna pop up a picture and you'll see, you'll see what I do. Cause I might wear a tote. I might wear a tote with that. I might, I might wear a tote. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, it's so funny when I'm sharing these ideas with you, then as I'm sharing them, I think of other 
things or other ways I can style them. So yeah, there's, there's so many. And if you know me, I'm a handbag girl. So I'm just trying to think. What I wear. I will probably, I might wear a toe check. Like I said, you will see it. I'll put a picture up so that you'll, um, you'll be able to know what I would do. Now, we're getting towards the end of the week where things get a little casual, but we still want to keep it classy and we still want to keep it cute. So I am a big fan of one piece. And what I mean by that, a dress or a jumpsuit. It makes life so much easier. I don't have to worry about pairing anything. All I have to do is worry about that one piece, a pair of shoes, and a bag, period. So I have this jumpsuit here. I have this jumpsuit. It also have, has a flutter sleeve like the blouse that I showed you. And this is Chelsea and Violet. And I, I've had this for a long time. I know I've had it since 2019. Dillard's. I purchased this from Dillard's. It has pockets, which we love. And everything else I've showed you has pockets except for that skirt. That chambray skirt does not have pockets. But this this jumpsuit is it's highs around the waist. It's long. It's wide leg, very flowy. Um, it's thin enough where it's breathable material, but it's thick enough where you can't see through it. Okay. Like I said, it came from Dillard's. Dillard's normally has very good quality clothing. Um, so yeah, a good jumpsuit. You cannot go wrong with a good jumpsuit. Yep. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you the shoes that I would wear um with this particular jumpsuit now with this jumpsuit i'm just gonna put my antonio maloney pumps back on um just to kind of bring back since the jumpsuit is so dark i kind of want to brighten it up so i'm gonna put on this antonio maloney pump um a slash you know slash pump now again these are very old so i can link a alternative below but there's no guarantee. As a matter of fact, I already looked, so I know I won't be linking it below. But this Antonio Maloney pump will go perfectly with that jumpsuit, especially since it's such a dark item. And, you know, very little jewelry. And I have my blue glasses on, you know, so I can really look like I'm taking care of business. You know, you know how we do. And for a work bag, let's see what we would do. I'm just trying to think. Because, you know, some days you want to just, you don't want to carry much, especially when you live in a secure building where, you know, you have to go through metal detectors and you just kind of want to take something light. Um, But again, I take a lunch. So it's gonna it's gonna be another tote. It's gonna be a tote because I have to put the purse down in there. We we're gonna take the Vince Camuto tote again, or I could do because I could do a tote or a large purse. It depends on the day, but yeah. So that jumpsuit. With the Antonio Maloney pumps, very little jewelry. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. And a tote. Because starting out, we got to do totes. We got to figure out how they want us back in this building. We got to figure out. Now, the flats that I keep. For most of the outfits that I've shown you, they have blue in them. And let me just tell you, these these right here, these have become my favorite flats. So these are the flats. They're by Naturalizer. And it's so funny. When I was growing up, I used to think that Naturalizer was for older people. And what was the other brand? Clark's? Clark's shoes? But especially Naturalizer. 
y'all when i when i started working in retail you don't sit down and one day i was in dillard's and they were having like a shoe sale and i got these shoes that look like something a leprechaun would wear um but as soon as i stuck my feet in them, i was like I, I gotta have them they were the perfect price the older i get honey a comfortable shoe is so underrated so i got into naturalizer when i got that leprechaun shoe <clears throat> And then I went back to Dillard's and I got this shoe. And normally I'm not that into pointy toe shoes, but they, they've been making shoes, heels, everything pointy toe at this point. When I tell you this shoe is so comfort, it, comfortable and it's made for comfort. Naturalizer, um, they make shoes for comfort. This Now in flats, I have to get an eight and a half. This is a nine though. This is a nine, very comfortable. I'll link this below. I do think it's still available online, but these are the flats that I will be wearing or carrying in my tote. Mm -hmm. Very comfortable shoes, very comfortable and cute. Or maybe I'm just thinking them up to be cute since I'm getting to the age now where comfort means a lot. And the last outfit, and I know y'all gonna think I'm being extra. And I, excuse me for looking down, but I'm looking down at the what I'm about to pick up. This dress. Now, it's still casual. This casual Friday. It's casual. But this dress. Now, let me tell you, I don't have a blazer to wear with this. But this would be so cute if... So, it's multicolor. It's very long, very flowy. It comes with this belt. I actually purchased it at a local black owned business um during a juneteenth festival um it's quarter length well it's quarter almost quarter length on me with these long arms but wouldn't this be nice if you could wear this with like an orange blazer or a pink blazer or a royal blue blazer and then have the sleeve come out of the blazer you know the arm and cuff you wouldn't be able to tell me anything. You wouldn't be able to tell me anything. Now, because this is such a long and flowy dress, I'm going to show you the shoes that I will wear with I normally it. wear, and this is given, um, it's Friday, I'm getting off. I got to look cute when I get off because who knows where I'm going to end up. <laughs> So, that multicolor dress I normally wear with these sandals. I'm not going to put the sandals too close because they're very old. And, honey, they've been through, honey. They've been walking the streets of Frasier and Raleigh, and they've been through. But when I put them on, you can't tell. But these shoes, they tie up. They crisscross the uh, um, on top of the foot, and then they crisscross up the leg. But I love this tassel detail. It's multicolor. Very low heel, very comfortable. This is the back of the shoe. I purchased these. This is Rebecca Minkoff DSW years ago. Very comfortable. The Like I said, the dress is long and flowy, so more than likely it'll cover the shoe depending on your height. Um, But yeah, this is a size... Nine. And the purse that I would wear. Now, I've worn that dress with different color purses. I've worn it with an orange purse, a pink purse. This fossil, this little crossbody. Because, honey, who who's taking a lot of stuff on a Friday? Who's taking a lot of stuff on a casual Friday? Not I. So, I'll take this little small fossil bag. It's, it's suede. And leather and I just think now I'm not a fan of this not a fan to me it makes the bag look childish and cheap um but I like how it kind of follow we got the you know whole tassel detail going on but you have the option of removing it this bag is very old I won't be linking it because it's not available um, but again if I see something that looks similar then I will link it down below um, that is the end of my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. 
I enjoy putting these outfits together. I enjoy sharing ideas with you. And let me just say this, because someone said that they don't wear a lot of color. Now, we are all different. So I'm not here to tell you um, what to do, but I am here to make a suggestion. Please try to incorporate more color into your wardrobe, honey. It is black, neutral, it's boring. It's boring. And I promise you, when you get dressed for work, just just add a piece of color in there. I promise it'll make your it'll make work go by faster. It just color just brings it color evokes emotion, period. I don't care what people say. Colors evoke emotion. And try to incorporate some type of color. It doesn't have to be something bright and neon and all of that, but try to incorporate whether it's a cardigan whether it's maybe your outfit is simple but maybe your handbag you know sometimes people don't want to wear a lot of color because they don't want a lot of attention i don't really care you know i i just i like what i like i like getting dressed um and i like clothes i like putting outfits together i like going in my closet and saying oh i can do this oh i can do this this will work and honey i'm i'm doing these videos so when i do start the office i can refer back to these videos so i can think of so i won't be the person that's saying i don't have anything to wear i can say girl you got a video up you better go back in there and get those ideas and wear your clothes still gonna shop but you know wear the clothes that you have so with all that being said, I hope you guys are inspired. I hope you all go to your closets and find outfits that make you feel good, that make you that make you look good, whatever it takes. Um, and, and this doesn't have to apply to work if you go to church, because honey, I will I wear some of this to church. I wear some of this to church. Or if you're going out with the girls, and those type of videos will come later on. Um, but you know, be inspired by what you have. Start with what you have. Don't don't look at what I have, cause our budgets may not be the same, our salary may not be the same, and you know what you like, I may not like, and vice versa. However, if you do have any suggestions or ideas, feel free to list them below, comment below, and let me know what was your favorite outfit. Or what would you have done differently with one or more of the outfits? I'm interested in hearing it. Excuse me if you see me looking around. Um, the windows are open. It's it's something that I'm kind of keeping an eye on. And it's a lot going on on my street because the weather is nice today. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> leave comments below. Um, I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to you hitting that subscribe button. I look forward to you hitting that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and encourage a friend to come and watch next week's video. I, I'm going to do a part three. I'm going to go ahead and do a part three. Now, if you think this video had color, because I already have my outfits hanging for next week. If you think this video had color, had color, you're not even ready for next week. Because I'm, I'm trying to usher in the presence of spring. I don't know what Memphis is doing with this cool weather and the rain. But we're going we gonna to usher in spring. We're going to usher it on in here. <laughs> with these outfits and this color. So, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you next week.